do this. Yo, 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 what's good, what's good? Joust the baby, back with your controversial conversation. I know, I know, it's been a little while. Last time I saw y'all, I believe it was the interview that me and the Uno had, and if you have not seen it yet, you need to. I have left the link in the description. Yeah, it was, it was really fun, man, really dope. Enlightening uh, interview, conversation, whatnot. But we got other things that we gotta talk about today. So if y'all have been keeping up, Lately in the political landscape, things have been a shaking and a stirring. You see, good old Mayor Pete has decided it is time for him to step down from his, I wouldn't say political aspirations, but at least presidential uh, hopes at this current state. And um, so there's a few theories as to why. Some believe that it's because well, motherfucker going broke. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the war chest ain't got as much capital up in it has he thought, you know, and there's that. Or they believe that he's trying to show good faith to the uh, the DNC and the Democratic uh, donors, basically telling them, like, look, I understand that I could probably take some of these centrist votes away from other people, mainly uh, Biden, and I know that you guys are probably trying to put all your money behind him, so maybe if I just step down now... It looks good, so maybe, I don't know, 2024, 2028, y'all might be looking at my young face again for presidency. You know, it might seem like one of those uh, ulterior motive type of moves, or it could just be because he truthfully believes in Biden, as we've seen that he, as of a couple hours ago, as a matter of fact, not just him, I'm gonna get to it in a second, but he has endorsed, yes, Senator Joe Biden. Um, and that's big because... It shows you that there is a coordinated effort right now to get Bernie Sanders to lose the nomination. As of right now, he still has the best chance out of the actual people. No person winning the majority is the number one in all polls, but he's actually number two, I guess, but number one nationwide. You get what I'm saying. Um, so basically, it seems like with uh, Buttigieg dropping out and now Amy Klobuchar has ended her presidency, she... One of the other centrists has now decided that she is going to put her support behind Joe Biden as well. Now, that is very interesting because it seems like the only so-called centrists left now seem to be Biden and Bloomberg. And Bloomberg is basically not really a, a, a centrist as much as a racist Republican disguised as a fake establishment Democrat. But whatever, you know, it is what it is. Um, anyways, you dig? So... With just basically Biden being the only centrist and um, Warren and Sanders kind of vying for this whole left wing position, it's very interesting. We already said it was going to be a three way race, Warren, Sanders and Biden from the get go. But now it seems like Warren doesn't really have a chance. So the best thing that could happen for Sanders supporters right now is for Warren to drop out and be like, look, I'm gonna put my support behind Bernie. But she pretty much burned that bridge by trying to do all those little stupid ass backwoods political tactics and shit like that. So who knows, man. But in all honesty, it is very, very interesting that on the same day, they have both decided to end their campaigns and say, we're gonna go put our support behind Biden. Basically trying to show good faith and also, who knows, maybe if Biden, I mean, we know he's not going to win the presidency, but if he does win the nomination, they have hopes that he could win the presidency and hopefully maybe give them administration seats um, or positions. I mean, uh, I think 538 was reporting, not reporting, but speculating that, you know, maybe a position could be for, uh, for Buttigieg could be something similar to maybe a U.S. ambassador, you know, to the U.N. He's got diplomatic... Uh, background, military background, speaks, like I said, about 200 different languages. <laughs> the dude can, can can speak a lot of different things. You know what I'm saying? Like, this race appears to be the only thing he's dropped out of. He ain't never dropped out of college. Road scholar, you know, this type of scholar, this, that, and the other. The dude's resume is impeccable if it comes down to paper, but when you listen to him talk, it's like, you, you just don't have it yet, kid. And he still feels kiddish, right? You know, like, when speaking to the older uh, Democrats on the stage, he just, he seemed like he was trying to punch up, you know, but he just couldn't. It just wasn't there for him. 
and it just makes sense for him to go ahead and just drop out now. Makes sense for Klobuchar to drop out. It just sucks that they put it behind Biden, especially because Buttigieg used to be such a big Bernie fan and supporter. Y'all go check those videos out. Like he was a huge supporter. I know, right? Crazy. That's <sighs> the world we live in. But uh, anyways, man, we back.